in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made we love you Jesus I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder your power throughout the universe display come on sing it with me this morning then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art mighty god how great thou art we love you jesus how great thou art come on sing it with me this morning saints then sings my soul my Savior God to thee. We love you, Jesus. How great thou art, mighty God. How great thou art. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, minister to your people on this morning. Touch them, encourage them, strengthen them as we go into the Word of God. I pray, God, that you would teach your people how to apply the Word of God to their present and current situation. Minister, encourage, strengthen, give miracles, give breakthroughs, give supernatural turnarounds, lift heavy burdens, God, break shackles, drive the devil out, subdue the enemy under the feet of your people this morning. In the name of Jesus, then sings my soul, mighty God, my Savior God to thee How great thou art Mighty God How great thou art Well look I better get into the word of God on this morning My gosh we can just go on and on worshiping God forever Amen But we have to get into the word of God Listen to this What I'm sharing with you this morning is You're on the brink of a miracle you're on the brink of a miracle. Listen to me. Don't give up. I don't care what it is that you are faced with. I don't care what it is you're dealing with. Never, ever give up. Don't quit because I believe you are very close to God answering your prayer, giving you a breakthrough, saving that husband, saving your marriage, saving that son, that daughter, that business, that ministry. Are you listening to me? Don't give up. Now watch. Let's go into the book of Mark chapter 5. Verses 22 through 24, I want to take my time and teach the word of God this morning. So listen, and behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. Now this man was certainly going against the green because to confess and to just bow before Jesus like that, you're confessing that he was the Messiah. He was the savior of the world. He was the son of God. And to do that, you can be thrown out of the Jewish synagogue back in this day and time. Now watch this, verse 23. And besought him greatly saying, my little daughter lies at the point of death. She's at home at the point of death. I pray thee come and lay thy hands on her that she may be healed and she shall live. Now watch this, listen to verse 24. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. Now watch, something takes place next that brings Jairus to a moment of decision. Listen, when you are believing God for a breakthrough, when you are believing God to turn your situation around, when you are believing God for healing in your body, maybe a financial breakthrough, it may be for your marriage to be turned around, it may be for your business to get turned around, for direction in your life. Listen, there always come a moment where you have to make that decision, am I going to give up or am I going to continue believing God? Now, this is exactly what happened in the next few verses. Jairus came to the point of decision, or I call it the moment of decision. Watch this. Whilst Jesus yet spoke, the Bible says, that came from the rule of the synagogue's house, certain of the people which said, your daughter is dead. Why trouble the master any further? 
Now, when Jairus heard that news right there, he had a decision to make. But before Jairus even had a chance to say anything, listen to what verse 36 says. As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, Jesus said unto Jairus, the ruler of the synagogue, be not afraid, only believe. And Jesus spoke immediately because the Bible says Satan comes immediately to steal the word out of our hearts. And Jesus had already agreed with Jairus to go to his house and heal his daughter. But before they had a chance to reach the house, things got worse. The girl died and then People brought Jairus to news saying, your daughter is dead. But before Jairus had a chance to give up, before the enemy had a chance to snuff out his faith, Jesus rekindled that fire and spoke to override the negative news that had just came and said, Jairus, be not afraid. Only believe. Now I'm talking to somebody this morning. You got a decision to make. What is the decision going to be? I... Listen here, I'll tell you what. I say like Isaiah said, whose report do you believe? I believe the report of the Lord. His report says I am blessed. His report says I am healed. You got to take a conscious decision. You got to make a conscious effort. I refuse to believe the voice of the enemy. I refuse to believe the naysayers. I believe God. Somebody shouted. I believe God. The angel said to Mary, for with God, absolutely nothing should be impossible. So Mary said, I'm going to believe God. I'm going to side with God. So Mary said, may it happen unto me according to your word. Be not afraid. Only believe this morning. You're on the brink of a miracle. You're on the brink of a breakthrough. You're on the brink of a supernatural turnaround. Shout yes. Hallelujah. Now watch this. So the Bible says this. As soon as Jesus heard the word, he said to the rule of the synagogue, be not afraid. Only believe. That's all he wants from you this morning. Look at, look at the story in John chapter 4. Check this out. This man said, Lord, speak the word only. My God, you ain't even got to come to my house because you and your word are equal. You can come if you want. But if you say the word, that's good enough. And Jesus said, go your way. Your son liveth, my God. And when this man was on his way to his house, he, the servants met him halfway home. And they said the same words when he inquired, how is my son doing? The Bible says they repeated the same words that Jesus has said. They said, my, they said, thy son liveth. Cell phones wasn't even out. Cable television wasn't even out. But the word of God has the power to travel through the atmosphere. The word of God has the power to travel when you speak it under the anointing and under the authority of God. When you speak the word, a miracle happened. That's why Jesus said, whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the midst of the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass Jesus said you shall have whatever you say I dare you this morning to open your mouth and declare it under the anointing I am healed in the name of Jesus I am the head and not the tail I'm above only and not beneath neither. I'm blessed and not cursed. Come on somebody. The Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue and those that love it will eat the fruit thereof. Open your mouth and declare victory in the name of Jesus. Now watch this. Verse 37. The Bible says in Jesus suffered no man to follow him except Peter, James, and John. Are you listening to me? And when he come into the house of the ruler of the synagogue and saw the tumult and them that weep it and wail greatly. And when he was coming, he said unto them, why are you making this big ado? And weep the damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. Oh, my God, you know, when we talk our faith, these people think we are on our minds. Listen to verse 40. 
And they laughed him to scorn. Now this blows my mind because these people were just weeping. They were just crying. But the minute faith shows up, the enemy appears immediately to resist it. Someone's going to try to snuff out your fire. Someone's going to try and knock down exactly what you said. Now watch this. They were just weeping and all of a sudden, when faith shows up, they're ready to combat it. They're not willing to combat death. They're not willing to combat the enemy. But the minute the Lord shows up, they're willing to combat him. I know some folks like that. Now watch this. And they laughed him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, this is what you got to do with the naysayers. You got to put them out. Get them out of your life. Get them out of there. Get them out of your air. Get them out of your inner circle. They are destroying your faith. They are destroying your fire. You got to get them out. The Bible says cast out the contentious woman and strike will cease. You got to put them out. You got to shut them down. Don't give them your air because they will abort your faith. They will abort your miracle. They will abort your destiny. They will abort your breakthrough. You got to drive them out. Shout get out in the name of Jesus. So the Bible says, but when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him and entered in where the damsel was. Sometimes you got to take nothing but people with faith with you, people who believe God, people who stand on the word. Now watch this. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitha Kumai, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise and immediately the damsel arose and walked for she was of the age of 12 years old and they were astonished with a great astonishment and he charged them greatly he charged them straightly sorry that no man should know it and commanded that something should be given to her to eat you're on the brink of a miracle. Are you going to continue to believe God? Or are you going to throw the towel in because you heard some negative news? Negative news is a sign you are on the brink of a miracle. The naysayers showing up and thinking you are out of your mind is a sign that you are on the brink of a miracle. You toss it and turn it late at night. The enemy trying to steal your faith. Your mind is being bombarded with negative thoughts because the devil knows you're on the brink of a miracle. But I take authority over that devil this morning. Satan, I rebuke you. You spirit of doubt and unbelief that comes to steal our faith and abort our miracle. We rebuke you this morning. Come on, open your mouth. Don't just listen to me. Open your mouth and begin to bind this devil. Open your mouth and begin to speak to your situation. I join my faith with you. I take authority over every principality, over every power, over every ruler of the darkness of this world, over every spiritual wickedness in high places. I rebuke the devil from off of you right now. For you are great. You are great. You do miracles. So great, mighty God. There is no one else like you. Sing it to the Lord with me this morning. There is no one else like you. For you are great, mighty God. You do miracles. So great. There is no one else like you. Mighty God. There is no one else. Be healed in your body from that cancer. I rebuke that diabolical cancer from out of your body. I rebuke the cataracts in your eyes. I rebuke the glaucoma from out of your eyes. I command you to be healed in your body right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, someone with a spinal cord problem. Someone with problems in the spine is being healed in the back right now. You feel the heat went through your back in that instant. The power of God flowed through your spine. You are being healed. Some people listening this morning, the cancer is drying up from out of your body. It's drying up from out of your body. The fire of the Holy Ghost is coming on you. The power of God for miracles is here. Be healed in your body. 
Be healed in your blood. Be healed in your spine. Be healed in your legs, your shoulders, your ankles, your arms, your heart, your lungs, your liver, your bladder, your stomach. Be healed. I rebuke the spirit of deafness. Be healed in your body from arthritis. Be healed in your body from diabetes. Be healed in your body from high blood pressure. Be healed in your body from low blood pressure. Be healed in your body from asthma. I rebuke leukemia. I rebuke lupus. I rebuke scleroderma. I rebuke heart blockage. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Carpal tunnel syndrome. Be healed. Broken bones. Be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen. There's a woman listening to this broadcast. You've been having problems in the stomach area. And it's been causing you to vomit up almost everything you eat. The Lord Jesus is healing you right now. Receive that miracle in your stomach right now. Someone with a cyst on the ovaries. It's being removed right now by the power of God. Be healed in your body. Migraine headaches being healed. Tumors being healed. Fibroid tumors being healed. Fractured limbs being healed right now. Someone with a twisted tailbone being healed in the name of Jesus. Many people with problems in their backs are being healed. Problems in the left leg healed. Problems in the left shoulders healed. People who suffered from strokes healed by the power of the living God. Mighty God, there is no one else like you. For you are great. Listen, I feel the power of God. Don't wait for me to call your problem. Just lay your hands on the part of your body right now where you need a miracle from God. The power of God is present to heal. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Begin to do right now what you couldn't do before. The power of God. Many people are being healed this morning. Many people are being healed. Many people are being healed. Tonsillitis being healed. Gingivitis being healed right now. In the name of Jesus, problems in the lungs, being healed, problems in the right knee, being healed by the power of God, cancer disappearing out of people's bodies, the power of God, in the hip sockets, miracles are happening right now, glory to God, be healed in your body. If you receive a miracle while listening to this broadcast, type under the video or email us your healing testimony to info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. We want to hear your testimony. We want to hear what the Lord has done for you. Many people have been healed this morning. I felt the power of God for miracles here this morning. Many have been healed, delivered, and set free. Some of you will go back to your doctors and they will be shocked they will be amazed. And listen, if you are healed, get it verified by the doctor. They will confirm to you that what was there before, it's now gone in the name of Jesus. And listen, we ask you to partner with us, sow a seed into the ministry, stand with us. We ask you to support us financially as we fulfill the will of God, preaching the gospel to the nations. We have over 235 nations that listens to this broadcast. We need your help. We can't do this by ourselves. We don't only ask for your financial support, but we ask for your prayer support. Pray for us. We need your prayers because the enemy attacks us as well. But greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. The information is on the screen. If you like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button. Click on the bell. We'd love to have you a part of our YouTube family. Every time we go live or make a new upload, you will be notified. If you're watching us through Facebook, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Facebook and also send us a friend request. We'd love to have you a part of our social media family. Remember, Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy, we love you. We believe in you. We are believing God with you for your miracle, for your breakthrough, for your supernatural turnaround. Until then, we look forward to seeing you on another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you. We love you. Take care now. Bye-bye.